so I finally finally get the time to be able to get back on this I just went to the auto parts store I got it's cost me a ton of like 50 something dollars spark plugs for $3.99 for $2.99 for the uh, distributor cap or ignition components whatever and this is the uh rotor I believe or i don't know other way around one of them so i gotta get out of all this stuff because it's nothing but mud outside so i brought my work clothes yeah cannot wait to get this going Holy crap, he wasn't joking. Still got it on jacks. I don't know how far it sink down by now, but not too far, I don't think. But gotta get the gas tank out. I don't know what these wires are. Jeez, what's going on here? I think this is just for the trailer. This is for like the trailer hitch. I hope it is. I had to pull back the seat. Again, it would be nice if they did number them, but I guess they're not going to make it that simple. Okay, so they're saying, I mean, I don't know if that's supposed to be one. Is that supposed to be number one? I don't know because <laughs> obviously this is going to screw in a certain kind of way so yeah I can see the screw right there let me get a light on here all right so I got everything correct pretty much just followed everything from one and that right there, the coil, I think that's what it's called. I ain't worried about that one, I already know where that one goes. So now, I'm gonna get this off. Let's see how bad it is in there. I already know I'm gonna have to sand some stuff. So hopefully I got my sandpaper. I just decided to turn my auto rotate off. I don't know if that's gonna work for this though. Okay. Um, I need my thought I had a screwdriver in here. Well, that came off. Look how rusty this is. It's probably never been replaced. Let's see how this one comes off. Oh, this one's already loose. That's not good. Got my reference for how this is going on because one is gonna go on this side. Let me just take a snapshot of that before I take it off. Okay, it just did me a snapshot. Don't look that bad. I mean, 
clearly gotta be replaced, but hey, actually, honestly, that part don't look that bad. And this part here. Let me just take another snapshot because I don't know if moving this is going to make the timing not be good. This is totally different than I than the other uh, one I did. So I don't even know where to start with this. I don't see no screw. I don't know. Let me just take a snapshot so I don't move it too much. Okay. So I'm guessing I... Oh, okay, that was simple. Yep, just pull it off. Got a little bit of rust. That was pretty easy. So I just snap and put it right back on. I think I probably might want to sand this. Just clean it up. Yeah, just I'm gonna I'm gonna clean this up here. And this goes back on. It goes on like this. Oh, it's a little tab in there. So I can't get it wrong. See how the new one looks. Hey, it looks a lot better. Just got the tab. Yep. I let this off. Still getting it cleaned up. I didn't realize. Just doing this as a reference, so I know how to put this back on. Holy crap, look at that. Yes. You gotta get all this cleaned up. I don't know what the heck this is. Yeah, uh, definitely don't want to move that. Timing could be off or something. So. I'll try to clean this thing out and I'll get back with you after I do some cleaning I'm just gonna just do a light clean on this one I don't want to move this too much okay here's the end result compared to how it was I should make it happier I just noticed some damage right here. I don't know what this is for, but as you can see it, it's kind of like some metal chunks on there. I don't know if that's something that could literally stop it from being able to start. I just cleaned this part up. So, oh, let me know what this is. Okay, got this on there pretty tight. It wasn't stripped on the side, went down pretty good. Real tight. Now, I'm just going to get this coil back on. Just that one there. And just... There it is. Put them all on. That won't too bad. Okay, so I'm gonna basically take one out, we'll look at that one, and I'm just gonna just put the rest in real quick. Yeah, come in. 
an extension. First one coming out, line seven. Okay. Sorry, I didn't have the light on. Huh. It's got oil and gas on it, so I don't know if it's it's a shot. See, yeah, it smells like gas. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. <laughs> really bad. Yeah. Here's number, it's number three. It was really hard trying to get that one. I had to put the elbow in the center in order to get to it. Yeah, that one's shot. Yeah, oh, they're all shot. Yeah, I got this side done. labeled just because I had to take um, two of them off <laughs> okay so that one number three right here I'm gonna need both hands <sighs> that size complete and this side wasn't even attached all the way. It was, it wasn't even on all the way. So I got four. Where's the old one? Oh. I got four plugs over there. Now, let me get this side done. It's getting dark. And it's only probably like five. Or it's not by any old time at all. Shit. Holy crap. Okay, this side's next. I'm just gonna knock the side out real quick. Look at my hands. And I just screw my carpet up. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna knock the side out real quick. And yeah, I'm just gonna get it done. We're gonna try to start it. Last one going in. Here's what I do if I can't turn it one hand. That means it's tight enough. Because you don't want to strip them. I think I did that with the lawnmower once. Definitely it's a motor, right? So I pretty much got, this is number eight. I got this only one I didn't label. And it's just gonna go right in. Just hear the little snap I just heard. Next one is a four. I don't know if that's the next one. Actually six is the next one. It's gonna go. Shit, I got everything untangled. This one's gonna have to be pulled up here. I 
back shit. I probably want to keep, yeah. That I got to keep there. Uh, I'll make sure everything's going to be off the, uh, yep, it's next. It's six, we're next to eight. That's in. Now I need four, which is right here. Two. All right, everything's in, everything's tight. And I'll have to make sure I get something to keep these off of the the uh, intake for right now I'm just gonna just lean them to the side it's the coil I'm gonna swing that one out if I can to try to keep it off of this yeah I'll definitely make sure those are gonna be off of this once I get this thing going I got this here because I was using this to hold these back which I don't need this now so I'm gonna pull this out yeah. it was pretty tough as you can see it's dark it's uh foggy outside so I'm getting ready to wrap it up now and uh I can get this out I'm gonna try to start it maybe tomorrow and see if anything changes but we're still gonna drop the gas tank anyway I, I still got the uh, fuel pump so my dad's house just ordered that for me baby oh that's it I'm gonna ready to head out I'm gonna put the dog cover back on I had to move that out, and that'll be it. That'll be it. Um, uh, thank you for watching. <laughs> Peace out. Stay cool. I'm gonna get out of here. Try to stay warm, but uh, at least I got something accomplished. Yep. All right, so. I don't know if I'm gonna if I get out tomorrow I'll include that with this vlog if not I think I got enough just for this vlog by itself all right peace I'm out Maybe I can hold off on these brakes until I get this van off the road. I haven't been hearing a brake so uh, act up or anything. Like grind or anything. So I'm guessing maybe it was just something stuck in it, maybe. I don't know. The 
assistance over. 